good morning. Good morning. Yeah, it feels so good outside. It feels good to be Beautiful. back home. You excited to be back? You, you glad to be back now? Yes, right here? I am glad. Look how <laughs> green this got just in the last week. And like our cover crop we had over there came back super full after running the pigs and chickens and goats on it. So it's all coming back and you know we've got some cover crop in here but then you know the thicker stuff out there that's all just coming back in from running the animals over it mm -hmm. you know this is awesome i'm so excited So now that we've made it back, um, we've got to start thinking about what we're going to do with the animals and what we're going to do with getting everybody basically prepared for this season. We want to set up more paddocks and we had talked about putting an exterior fence in to keep animals and other people from coming in and our animals going out. So that's what we're going to start working on today. We're going to start getting that set up and the goal today is to at least get the corner posts all braced and get the two behemoth posts of wood that are going to hold our front gate in the ground. So let's just see if we can get this accomplished today. All right, so I've got some help today. This is my dad. You going to help me put a fence up? <laughs> I don't think he's so sure about the camera stuff. <laughs> But at least what we can do is we can get it set and then put the gate on it and if it looks too tall we can always cut it or whatever we need to do. Uh huh. It's definitely too tall. Oh yeah, it's definitely too tall. What's that event they have in Richmond? Just kill, kill or whatever they I am. I'm posting on Instagram. <laughs> Alright, so now that we've gotten the big posts in, the big wooden posts in for the gate, we don't actually have the gate yet. Um, we didn't want to get it before we left because we didn't have enough room in the truck. But we are going to be doing the corner posts for all of our wired fence. What we're going to end up using is a kit from Lockjaws. Um, this is a corner uh, T-post corner kit for them. Um, it's made out of an insulated plastic and comes in many different sizes and shapes of things but uh, it should help us to brace the corners but also i'm excited because basically if we have a hot wire touch the t-post it's not going to ground it out into the ground because this is a plastic insulated corner so let's go ahead and set that up and show you guys what it looks like so you're just gonna take your piece you, if you're strong enough you can pull it apart but i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna do it this way and there's a if you can see there's a nib in here that's going to go towards your spikes on your t-post there you go 
go and it locks in place. Clips in. Alright, so the next piece we need to do is we're going to start laying out our corners. So we'll set up just like we set that one up over there. Then you have these corner pieces and these are going to slide on the top of our T-post and hold either the foot or the piece that's going to connect to our round piece on the top of the original corner post. Can flip it over for me? Mm -hmm. okay. And then our feet and our connector. We're just gonna set it where we want it on the the round section. Over this way some more. Take that piece down there. Here. You can take that, that piece away now. Alright, mm -hmm. probably good. Okay. insulated strainer this is where it starts to get tricky we're gonna start laying out the bottom wire which is gonna be an aluminum wire um, the, the the plan is we're gonna do two or three um, bottom aluminum wires and then the tops are gonna be poly wire and basically the aluminum is gonna be for the pigs and the poly is gonna be majority for the goats so we're gonna go over here and I'm gonna show you my plan I just want to reiterate something here I am not a fence builder. I didn't claim to be a fence builder. Um, all of this stuff up to this point was the easy stuff. How to tighten this fence up and get it perfect is not something I'm good at. So I did a lot of research. I think I've got everything together, but we're gonna find out. There's a couple of components here I wanna show you guys. In case you are trying to build a fence and you want to try your hand at what I'm doing. So there's a couple of components that I want to show you that if you decide to do a fence like this or you like these products, you can go get them yourself. Um, but along with the Lock Jaws corner posts or the corner kits, Lock Jaws actually makes an insulator that you may or may not have seen. Um, we went with this for two reasons. One, they are made in the USA, shipped out of the USA, packaged everything in the USA, and this design is set up so that way it can go around a t-post 360 degrees um, no matter how you have your t-post in the ground which is great for me because i'm not that talented at putting t-posts in the ground directly straight so this should help and then we got these uh, gallagher insulated um, aluminum wire tensioners um, strainers and they should work well. They're going to go up against our post and we'll run a wire in here. And this will be our main wire coming out. We just have some normal clamps. And uh, we're using a 14 gauge aluminum wire. So we're going to try this out. I'm going to get this set up. Wish me luck. So this is what makes the system really, really cool. Is that these pieces can go on the outside of the post. Um, as you can see here and then they also once you've gone around the corner you can put them on the inside of the post as well so like right here this this one is on the inside they're on the inside all the way down the inside of the um, fence line and then on the corners they're on the outside creating that wire tension that we want to see on the outside of the corner. So that's what I'm told. Again, I've never built a fence before. I'm just going by what I'm told. This is a really awesome way of doing it. So 
we're gonna get this Gallagher um, insulated strainer up and we're going to tighten it up and see how it looks. We got the Gallagher strainers up and the aluminum wire is nice and tight. It's not like, I don't think uber taut right now. I'm still kind of figuring out if it's where it needs to go. There's a couple places in the yard that are lower than the rest of it. So we're probably going to put some T-posts in there, but it's getting late. I'm going to run one more strand of poly wire on the top and then we'll do two more at a later date. But hopefully you guys got a little bit of information from our fence today. We have enjoyed having you come along and experience this awesome fence building experience. Like I said, I'm not an avid fence builder, so uh, I'm sure there are gonna be things that we learned that are a problem, but I'll keep you guys up to date on these corner posts and these insulators, because I'm really hoping that they do well. Um, I've seen mostly good reviews. There's a couple people who did not have good reviews on Amazon, but with every product, everybody has their own experiences with it. So we'll see how it works with us and we'll go from there. Thank you guys for joining us today. Hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed and you'd want to see more, then hit that bell button so you get notified every time we have a new video. But thank you guys. We appreciate you. Welcome to all the new people in the family. We'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.